ever try to film something serious and just, you know, completely lose it in a fit of laughter? Like the kind that makes your face hurt? Oh, absolutely. Well, that's what happened to this Irish dad, Vincent. And the internet is eating it up. We are diving into the viral video, yeah. why it's resonated with so many people, and even the science behind contagious laughter. I'm ready to laugh? Always up for a good chuckle, especially one with a scientific twist. Okay, so we have the original YouTube clip from BBC News NI, an article from the Love Ireland Substack, which gives us some context, and even this funny comment about Irish home remedies, which we'll talk about later. Oh, I do love a good home remedy. Yeah, it's a good one. All right, so Vincent's son, David, was turning 40 in Australia. And since the family couldn't be there in person, they decided to film birthday messages. Sounds simple enough, right? Well, it is until you add in Vincent's laugh, then things get interesting. Exactly. And if you read the YouTube transcript, it's almost like the setup to a joke. Mm -hmm. It says, hello, 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 hello. Like he's just getting ready to laugh even before he starts talking. Oh, I can already picture it. And he wasn't even talking directly to David at that point. His son, Paul, the one filming, is actually David's brother. So it's like we're getting a glimpse into a fun family moment. Yeah. And that brings us to the laughter itself. Mm -hmm. I dare you to listen to this without smiling. Okay, okay, let's hear it. Play a short snippet of Vincent's laugh from the YouTube clip. If possible. See? Impossible. I don't know. I think I held out, but I can see why people find it so infectious. So there's a reason why I can't help but laugh along with him. Well, yeah, kind of. You see our brains, they're wired for empathy. And mm -hmm. we are programmed to mirror the emotions of people around us, especially when those emotions are positive, like laughter. So when I hear someone laughing, my brain is like, hey, this is good. We should be doing that, too. Basically. And it's this mirroring that underpins this idea of contagious laughter. Interesting. And the Love Ireland article mentioned how some people said they needed to laugh after watching the video, especially with everything going on. Makes you wonder if there's something to that. Like laughter is, well, medicine. Almost. Well, yeah, I mean, laughter has been shown to be good for you. It reduces stress. It can even help with pain management. So maybe it's not that far off. So this isn't just a viral video. It's like a global mood booster. In a way, I guess you could say that. Yeah. I mean, this video is fascinating because it goes beyond humor and taps into something deeper. This need we have to connect with other people and to experience joy, even if just for a moment. I love that. Right. It, it really is remarkable how something so simple can have such a wide reach. It really shows you the power of the Internet, right? I mean, this wasn't some big production, just a genuine moment that was captured and shared. Yeah, and speaking of sharing, the Love Ireland article said this video has already gotten over 1.5 million views. And that's just on Twitter. Imagine how many people have seen it everywhere else online. Wow, that's incredible. So why do you think this specific video has gone so viral? Well, I think part of it is that it's so relatable. Like, who hasn't been in that situation where you're trying to film something and you just can't stop laughing? Especially when you're with family. Exactly. It's like those moments when you're not supposed to laugh that makes it even funnier. For sure. And there's definitely an element of dad humor here, too, you know? Oh, absolutely. It's like dads have this way of being goofy and endearing at the same time. And I think people really connect with that. It's like you're laughing with him, not at him. Exactly. And you can really see the love between Vincent and his sons. It makes the whole thing even funnier. It makes you wonder if there's really something to that comment about Irish home remedies for contagious laughter. Oh, you mean like there's a cure for it? Right. Someone really wanted to know. That's hilarious. A cure for laughter? Can you imagine? It's a funny thought, but I guess it shows you how powerful laughter can be. Yeah. I mean... Don't we all need a good laugh sometimes? I know, I do. It's like this release, this way to just let go for a minute and be in the moment. It really makes you think, huh, like this home video shot with so much love just explodes online. It really shows you how much people crave authenticity, you know? What do you mean? Well, so much of what we see online these days is, you know, curated, almost fake. And then you have this video of Vincent just like pure joy. It reminds us that the best moments, the ones that really stick with you, are the ones that are real. It's like a breath of fresh air, for sure. And the timing of it all, too. Think about everything that's going on right now. So much negativity. And yet this video, this simple laugh, it cuts through all of that. Brings people together. Exactly. It's kind of amazing when you think about it like that. And that's the power of laughter, right? Yeah. It can bridge divides. It reminds us that we're all human. It's a universal language. This deep dive has been quite a journey. We started with a video of a dad laughing, 
And now we're talking about like the meaning of life. We do tend to go deep, don't we? I guess so. But hey, that's what makes it interesting, right? That's true. So before we wrap up, I want to leave our listeners with a little something to think about. If you were in Vincent's shoes trying to send a heartfelt message, what would make you laugh uncontrollably? What would just completely break you? Ooh, that's a good one. Hold on to that feeling, that memory, that little bit of joy. Because sometimes that's all we need, right? A good laugh to remind us of what's important. I love that. Connection, love, joy, those are the things that matter. Couldn't have said it better myself.